get started and let's get into it. This is the top eight action that you're going to see here at NOBC tonight. Uh, thanks to all of you on the Matchmail Crowdfund. We received over $178 so far. That's great, everybody. That means that some of you have given some great contributions. Allow me to thank you all properly. Some recent donators include who we got. No original name. Thank you. We got Shine206, Cochise, Sojiro jumping in there. Lua. Yes, it's up. They should be able to join. Let me know if they have any problems. Hero McDowell with the big 25. Thank you, Hero McDowell. Merrill KN. Thanks, Merrill. Ten of Clubs and Tick Tape. We appreciate you, everybody. You can still help out and support. You can help us with your subs, your gift subs, and your goodies. Uh, you can also do a lot of other stuff, guys. You can help us out. Use the stuff in the sidebar if you like. Support us, everybody. And also see out those skulls because we're going to have some skull bets for you in a moment with some of the great players that you'll see here in the top eight. Looking at the bracket together, the first match is already lined up. It looks like the players have arrived. Uh, but here, let's take a look together before they start it up. On the player one is Indra, representing the OFA crew. On the player two side, it's going to be the homie Unknown. Wish them both luck, everybody. Indra and Unknown. And this one's the winner's semis. Reset that. There we go. That looks right. And let's update the round for you all. Perfect. So same deal, guys. These matches have been great tonight. I don't think we even need like a special type of bet. I just want you guys to pick who you think is the strongest. And it's hard to tell because they're playing amazing tonight. Your choice is Indra and Unknown. Indra, one of the underdogs tonight at the tournament. He played very well. In fact, we have two underdogs in the winner's semis today. Sweet, your skull bets are live, everybody. No, it's not It's not uh, the same unknown from Xanadu area, Maryland. This is a different unknown. He's from ATL, yes. Yeah, that's smart, actually, because it helps differentiate a little bit. So that's smart that he chose to do that. Is Stranded streaming his tournament run, you said? Okay, cool. Oh, sounds good. So apparently they're also doing their tournament run on his French channel. You can find it on Twitter, the channel. I'll try to take a peek in a second, too. First, let's get engrossed. <laughs> Which one, Nitro? The Unknown or Evil Squad or the Injure Squad? <laughs> I kind of like Injure Squad. It feels like, like a weird meta team. I like this squad a lot. The Unknown Squad is just, it's just he put evil characters on the squad because he felt like it. <laughs> I feel like the squad works well for Indra because he's, he, <laughs> he can be unorganized every now and again. And this is like an unorganized type of team. It fits him well. <laughs> oh, that's sorry. Sorry to hear that, Big for a little. That new Xanadu venue looks cool. I still haven't got a chance to check it out. Timing was really good there for Intro. See, what was that mix up? <laughs> Every <laughs> this is sick. Bro, they're so they're so ham right now. Nice chase. The level one, he might get the, the pure level one. Yes, that was nice. We talk about that a lot, but the secret to that is to get a lot of his stun decay in there. You get a lot of his stun decay in, and then the candy beat can all be one combo. It's pretty nice. Woo! That even looked cool. Cooler just bust out from the barrier. Anime. That was extra. Anime. Vanish. Small combo. Oh, bring me the other guy. Yes, bring the bring the gentleman that's vulnerable. We must battle. 6M. 
He took the spark hit. That was wise, actually, because there's a very dangerous post mix up there for Kid Boo. So smart idea to take the hit. Ooh, that was that still was a punish? Or did he press a button after the counter? I wonder about that. That counter has a bowl of recovery, huh? All right. Interesting. Thank you, Cold Blue. Thanks, Cold Blue. So, Indra got the first one. We'll see how Unknown can answer back. That was a... Uh, how can I explain? That was not a... Sloppy is not the word I'm looking for. That was a match where no player really had a lot of control of what was going on. There was just a lot of ham neutral going on. Sometimes it happens like that. For every match that's a clean match, there's another match that's the opposite of a clean match. You know what I mean? Everybody's struggling the whole time. Those are fun. I actually enjoy playing that type of matchup. You get really nervous during those. You see a lot of situations that you're not used to seeing as well. It does help you improve. Does he change? That was a really good tag. Straight bust out. Six jump from Indra. Nothing behind him. That reflect made the mix way worse than it could have been. Because he pushed him out so far, he didn't have to really react to the 5H. Sick escape. How quick is he? He did like a box down escape. That was dope. Mix time. Get off. His reflex have been getting a lot of work in frame intro, but now he's in trouble. Two meters. It is enough. And he intentionally put Cell on point as well. So Cell's here to get the party started. Sick block string. Oh, and the freezer assist was behind there. Good thing that he reflected again. The same deal. Injury reflects have been breaking up some of the unknown mix. Moving time. Oh, we didn't get to see it. Oh, well. We get to see more cupcakes. That's okay. I like those. You must guess. 50 50. Oh, he. Oh, ho, 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 ho. there's layers to my defense. I reflect it to overheads. Slap. Until you, this is a kill. Buy sell. Now we get the moving super. The whole thing. Two on two. They both preserve their spark as well. Attack. Woo! I have defense. Indra. Protected himself. Yes, that was smart. All of that was kind of a semi-guaranteed sequence. It would have been hard for him to do it now. He would have had to do something to the second upper cut probably. Level 3, man down. Ooh, what a turnaround. Quick, fast, unknown. Excellent chase, too. He beat the spark with that, and tricky, tricky. You thought it was your turn, but actually, it was pizza time. Two on one, unknown. Got the hit. Unfortunately, he can't kill in one touch, so he still has to guess the spark. That helps. Still can't kill from this touch. Indra's gonna spark, right? Oh, he's in spark. I just realized he's in spark. He's actually kind of screwed then, huh? That's tough. Get off. Big combo for this. Maybe it's enough? Level 3? He has limit break. He's trying to make a kill. He's really trying. Oh, I think he did it. I think he did it. He spent a lot of meter on that, but he guaranteed the kill. Munch. It's an even match, guys. 
indirect consent unknown to the loser's bracket right now, it will be a huge victory for him. Dang, Dr. Snoo, you've been actually you've been actually at work. That you have to eat MREs and unknown came back. Close set. Really close. Tied up everybody. One to one. Thanks for the bits also, Dr. Snoop. I appreciate it. So MRE, those are like the military, the pre-made meals. They suck really bad. You can look them up if you're interested. Sometimes you can see them at the, the surplus shops. Wow. Oh, he... If he had turned that into a combo, I can't even imagine what the damage would have been like. Excellent Dragon Rush. Excuse me, Super Dash. Super Dash right through the projectiles. Whoa. Oh, reality stone, I see. Good usage. I could, he he wasn't even ready for the hit. He got a hit and he was already thinking about the next mix it looked like. That was interesting. He's out of there. Mad damage too. I know. Made it back to the mid screen. Oh, good, good. Scrambles. 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 Unknown has control. Level one. Nice. Ooh, y'all was talking about food. Don't do that, guys. I'm, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten like much today. I've been too busy, you know, being happy I came back from the dead. 3 on 2, 2H, two that's good, that's a good look. He has a lot of meter on deck, he can make this combo hurt if he wants. He is gonna make it hurt, alright. Cooler lost like 60%, one combo, late reflect. That was good. Six M. So people like to use the plus and the six M to go for a cross up mix like that, the one you just saw. Uh, but even though the six M has small plus, that mix up is kind of reactive, as you see. It is still a good thing to throw in there. You always do the same thing over and over. You never took them up. Barry. This is Unknown's game to win now. Indra had it extremely close, especially in game number two, uh, but now he must fight from behind. Oh, he forced that to be a media. Oh, tricky. I see. And Indra just went out of the corner. The square button society did not serve them well. Cooked, right? GG. Unknown, everybody. Extremely strong. Injure respectable, by the way. Respectable, especially the first couple of games. Really respectable. The third game uh, was an unknown game. He just was extremely strong, especially once he got that first kill in. All right, everybody. Let's pay out those skulls. Who got paid? Let's see. Unknown versus Indra. The winner was unknown, 2-1. to one. Another extremely even match tonight. As we saw. I know th these guys are really amazing. Thank you everybody for entering today. Especially after hearing about what happened earlier in the week. And guys, don't get discouraged. That happens sometimes. Everybody likes looking at the shiny new games. Look at me. I'm new and shiny. You can't even pick me yet. That's not new and shiny. I understand. But at the same time, y'all are supporting your game on the PC version tonight. Thank you. Huh? Yeah, they brought me back to life in KL14 though. Yeah, I'm back to life now. <laughs> All right. So next match is coming in a second. I paid your skulls, I believe. 
Uh, before we start the next one, everybody, if you appreciate the fact that the players are coming to play tonight, even though there's all the new, the, the new shiny strive waiting for them and everything else, you got to support the crowdfund, everybody. Jump in there, you know, use the code if you haven't used it yet. Check out some of the stuff here on the sidebar that I've talked about. Give a couple of dollars to the homies if you can spare it and help them out. Or you can gift us subs here at Team Spooky, a regular sub, a gift sub, or your free Prime sub. I'll add some money courtesy of you guys or at the end of the night. Already, I've added $100 courtesy of you guys that are subscribers today, the 23 subscribers of Team Spooky so far. I'll be sure to add a little more for you later on today as well. So keep it up, guys. Keep subbing, and I'll support the homies courtesy of you. Winner semis number two. The players look like they are ready to go, I think. Hikari and Lungster, is that right? This is the other big underdog tonight, Lungster. We'll see how he can do against Hikari. He's already defeated some pretty solid names to get to this point. Let's make a bet again, everybody, because the bets have been good tonight. This is the type of stuff where you don't know what's going to happen. 50-50 bets all around. Hikari. Monster. We got two minutes. I keep hearing about that one, Knockout City. I don't know much about it, though. I'm assuming it's a newer title, or it's been recently announced, something like that. It was a regular attack, so there was not much opportunity to punish, but snuck in there with the hit anyway. So Hikari on the player one, extremely meta team. Especially with the new hit tech, he's making it work together with the 21 and the Ultra Instinct. We see him play this style of squad a lot in all the events, especially with the COM as well as here at NLBC. Lungster, he has the 99 cent squad. He found DBFZ on sale and picked three characters that did not require him to have the DLC. And he's making it work. $5 DBZ stick. Who remembers that? That's Mahoko. I've heard 3 a.m. Majestic Cactus. 3 a.m. is what I've heard. I don't know if that's the exact time. Oh, that was like a mini guard break. He tried to flinch. He got opened up. Good mash, good mash. He broke up the low. That's a vanish. The damage is trash, of course, because he had to use so many fireballs to confirm the combo. But that's how it goes. Ooh, oh, double ooh. He did a moon jump mix, and Ikari answered back with the hit, tech, the gut kicks, the I'm faster, have control of time, death. One of the best level ones in the whole game right now is the hit level one. Yo, uh, Indra, are, are you serious? Is that what you guys are talking about in the chat? No, you're sick, Indra. You played really well all day today so far. Keep it up, man. You earned that win of sevens to get to that point. And you got you had a good game. The first two games were both sick. It was almost a 2-0 for you. Oh, mash, good mash, good mash. And the perfect attack to break him up. He waited for him, though, because, you know, he can still go for the gut check. The gut kick. The I'm scared, so it's time to EX. Oh, stop. Stop. That was ridiculous. That was one of the greatest things I've ever... I got a master butt. Oh, I almost forgot the master butt. That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. <laughs> he waited for the whole... He was aware of every button he was reflecting. That's what that means. He wasn't just mashing and reflecting. He was aware of all the buttons he was reflecting. And he stopped reflecting when he knew which button was the right time. That was dope. Dragon Rush. He missed the extension. Oh, wow. Sick aerial mix and the aerial auto combo to extend. He couldn't super dash anymore. Something about that combo was off. That was a hard confirm what he did. The fact that he made it to a small combo is pretty impressive. Lungster. 
We jump for her card. He has on the most clean orange pants on the Goku. I kind of like that color. That's a sparking bait. Very nice. We can keep the pressure on, but the reverse says no. Special wake up of Ultra Instinct. You forgot about me, didn't you? Now take this level three. Why is it that every uppercut in this game leads to a combo? This game is messed up. My god. Three on two for Hikari. Yeah, right now it's almost 10 p.m. Eastern time, everybody. We've been enjoying a great Dragon Ball Fighters tournament. Now it's top eight action. 25 monsters came to compete. In the end, eight remain. Some of the best players in the in the PC, especially, are here tonight. Legendary Pred, uh, Hikari, as you see. Uh, who else is around? Adrian Riven, who's been having a lot of success lately. Unknown. Nitro, you hear you hear in spirit, Nitro. Respect, folks. You hear chilling, having a good time. Hey, who are you playing in Strive, Nitro? Out of curiosity. Hikari can do so much damage from this. Oh yeah. Uh, he tried to he tried to reset. Is that what that was? <laughs> that was cool. Oh, that was also cool. Cut the recovery on the super dodge. That is it. That is definitely it. One zero. Oh, is that too dang? Hikari is too strong. That was two already. <laughs> he's he's strong, everybody. What can I tell you? Hey, Lungster, good job, man. With all the the crazy underdog comebacks that you made today, you were really beastly. Keep it up on the loser side. We'll see more of you soon in the top five. Oh, uh, Ramlethal, hell yeah, Ramlethal. Ramlethal is really good right now. Obviously, good buttons, uh, good corner pressure in general. Not a lot of weaknesses for Ramlethal, so very popular right now among some of the top guys. I'm playing a lot of Anji. You probably knew that already, but since we're talking about it, he's fun. I like him a lot. I don't know where to put him on like a tier chart or anything like that. I guess he's like a, probably a middle-ish or upper-mid-ish kind of good character. He has some weaknesses, but he's still really good. It's not like how, remember when Nagaruyuki first came out and he felt like an unplayable character? It's nothing like that with Anji. Anji clearly feels like a good character. I just don't know if I can say he's broken or just good. So I believe that completes our winner semis, everybody. That means that we're going to head to the loser side of the bracket now. And in losers, the matches that we have are Lucar versus Tester Luck. Lucar is already here. And we also have Adrian Riven representing the COG crew up against Legendary Pred. That match is going to be sick, I think. We'll see if, if Pred is prepared for that one. I know he's been playing Strive a lot. That's the lore. Test your luck. He's got a squad he's representing. That's right, Mr. OZ. It's like a, a, a bowing down. Is that what it is? Someone's bowing down? That's what it looks like to me. Bow before me. $182. Currently sitting the match no crowd fund. Thank you, everybody, for the great support. In this match, I want you to tell me what you think is going to happen, as I said. Uh, the player one is going to be Lucar, it appears. They're already here and ready to go. On the player two is test. Come on in test. Cool. Works for me. We're gonna make a bet, everybody. Two minutes, you got. Two minutes. I'll beat you in two minutes. Once again, everybody, I'm Chris. Thank you, everybody that's been excited about the new King of Fighters release. I'm happy to be back in the mix. Tonight we're watching some Dragon Ball Fighters action. Next level battle circuit, week 65 of the series. Top eight losers bracket now. So this is all this is all win or death at this point. You win or you're out of the tournament. You gotta come back in two weeks for the next PC. We'll see who's gonna play their strongest tonight. Lucar already has the, the hands, the icons already ready. He's like, come on in. There he is, test. Let's do it, everybody. Good luck to both. Test is starting off with uh, Beerus Point, it looks like. He does change his order sometimes. Sometimes instead of the Beerus Point, he puts, 
I believe Baby is the one that he puts on point sometimes. Oh, full intros? Is that serious? Ooh, Wiz. When can I pick Wiz? I want to play this character so bad. Man, intros in this game are dope. They need to let them rock more. We'll be skipping intros in these streets. Counter hit off the jump light. He went for auto combo for the easy side switch. Next time, you must guess. Hit or throw. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is already crazy. That was nuts, that whole situation. Beat up on the assist a little bit. Good super dash. Lupar. That is a vulnerability of the, the orbs of Beerus. They count as regular projectiles. They don't count as beams. So you can pretty much super dash through kind of freely. That was smart. That was smart. He spent the spark for it, though. So he needs to really make this a good corner. It ain't the first reversal that gets you. Smart. All right, he, he did. He did a good amount of damage for that. I think. I think that. Oh no! <laughs> I am extra big brain, my friend. Give me all that life back. Your effort was useless. Good switch. He has no assists available, so he has to end the combo. Big time. Go! Oh my God, he's too smart. It's really hard to mix up Lucar right now. Make oh good block test. Revenge driver mix ups. You see those dragon rushes, always. Sick aerial movement, ridiculous. Six M assist. He missed the combo. Z change. Super Baby's in to protect the team. Level with oh, it was too far. It was too far away. And he lost three bars for that. All right. Tess having control of the situation. We'll see how much those three meters matter. The combo potential on the next hit could have been a, a lot bigger than the current combo potential. But he's building. Can we get a rejump? Oh, we're going for two more. Yes, I see. Big time. Good one. Good block. He saw that? Amazing. Hailstorms. We have boomerang fireballs and we have hailstorm fireballs. Oh, oh, man. He's teaching me. So you can reflect that and still block in between, huh? You're still safe. Here. Good reversal again. Tess is so great with that reversal. Five H. He chose the correct button. It looks like he needed a big hitbox to be out there, shoulder check style. Yo, this character Android Sixteen looks quite a lot like someone I know, Brian Bout. Anybody know what I'm talking about? What happened to that guy? Setups. Ooh, man. Crazy defense. The, the way they're recognizing the aerial reverse beats is so good. Alright, the post mix after the three is really good. He has moon jump, he has cross up, he has many options. He went for nothing. He went for a fake out, and it kind of worked out for Tester, I think. Revenge driver to set up the combo. They're really optimizing the two and four S loops lately, huh, chat? Look at that. Even the way he ended the combo was crazy. How did you know it was time to block there? Full chase into, yes, the Dragon Rush extension. He can spend a lot of meter. Let's see. Special wake up. Into combo. 
He can Z-Change if he needs to. Wow. Reversals that kill characters. Straight up. This game is wild. Oh. Wow, good usage of the Videl there. Good reflect also. That's unfortunate. And that was that was maybe worth vanishing. I'm not sure. Small confirm. Ex there didn't work. Ooh. That was awkward. I think Lucar has it. He's got a nice combo. He's got a pretty basic ender for him. Yeah, this is it. So Lucar is gonna take game number one. Test with some really good moments in that first game. Especially his reversals. His reversals were sick. Unfortunately, you ate the special wake up of Ultra Instinct Goku. Squad switch, perhaps. His baby was having a lot of success, so I wouldn't be surprised if he does the baby order switch that we talked about, and he puts baby as the first character. Let's see. Yes. Uh, so Antoine, so the reason why they don't use the other person's assist very often is that uh, you need to either use EX to make it really good, so you have to spend bar, or it has more startup than a regular assist. Uh, but situationally, there are some assists that are really good. It just depends on which character you have dead at that moment. Uh, for him there, he was using, it looked like a lot of the, the, the C Videl assist was what he thought was good, which makes sense because that assist kind of tracks and has a decent hitbox. Whoa, that was hard to block. Oh, that was tight. That was tight. Yeah, that reversal is so dope. You can try coming from behind me if you like, but guess what? I have orbs everywhere. Yeah. Late vanish, that was smart. Reflect vanish just to get out. The range on the 2M. We thought Gogeta had a good M. Check out the God of Destruction. Sick. That was tight. Alright, test. Uh, so, young, young Matthias, we will have a Strive tournament soon. Uh, I don't have any announcements just yet, but look forward to news. In the meantime, good luck everybody on the release tonight. At like 3 in the morning or something. But good luck. I hope you all enjoy it. Meteoric. Nice slow. That was smart on 3 flat. Extended it into a mix. And the Revenge Driver 2 to make it guaranteed. Wow, that was a really good kind of a forced mix sequence. Lucar really had to hold that. Oh! <laughs> That doesn't even make sense. He dodged one character and ended up at the other character. <laughs> All right, two on two. Sick. Reset. Oh, that looked like, was that a trick? Um, it's hard to tell. Oh no, that was not a good vantage. I'm sorry, Tess. Level 3 for the knockdown as well. We got one guess. Ooh, he kept it one on one. Who does meaty crouch light? Lucar does. <laughs> The basics. This is my first day playing the game. My mix up is Crouch Light. Test Dave. Oh, this is close to Duff. It might actually be Duff. He saved it. He was not convinced. Dragon Rush is good. Okay. 
Lukaku kind of let Tess have a little bit of rhythm for free there with the walk up after the 6 up or the string after the 6 up. He's definitely going to keep trying to hit him with Okidokes, right? Yes, just like he's doing. I wonder about this. It is. Match point potentially for Lucard here. I realized that I still haven't marked as winner semis, guys, but this is uh, top 8 round 1 of users, so I'm going to update it now, even though I'm a bit late on that one. What's up, Judai? And there's the kill, just as we talk about it. All right, Lucar. So Lucar is going to take the set 2-0. to zero. Thank you, Lucar, for showing us what you can do again. Test your luck is going to be eliminated at 8th place today. Uh, but Test, as always, shout out to you and the Montreal crew. Uh, thank you for always supporting us every week and showing us what you can do, especially with your cool B-Risk squad. So I still love your B-Risk squad slots. And I hope that you'll return next week and show us even more. Tough tournament for you. Honestly, Test is a regular, like a top five monster, but you know, this tournament, all the killers were in top eight. Everybody was killing it. Anybody that wasn't a killer in the top eight was a huge underdog time. They were underdogging like mad. Now we got, ooh, this is not an underdog match. This is real. Adrian Riven versus Legendary Pred. No idea what's gonna happen during this match, everybody. Yeah, I'm Chris from King of Fighters. Everyone at home, if you haven't seen the cosplay just yet, everybody that's just joined the stream, I'm Ki Chris. I'm back again. They brought me back to life at the end of KOF 14. Looking extremely forward to King of Fires 15. Pick me, everybody. When it comes out, please pick me. Make me top tier, all right? Cool, here we go. So the players have arrived, everyone. It looks like Adrian's on the player two and Pred is player one. So there we go. We're going to mark it and we're going to make some skull bets for you at home. New car took it over test. Two to one odds. That's reasonable odds, I think, there. Now, other side, top eight, legendary Pred up against Adrian Rip, representing the COG crew. Both these players stream lots here on Twitch. Legendary Pred has his own channel. It's just Legendary Pred, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, Adrian's channel is one Adrian Aries one here on Twitch. Whoa, he almost had something for that. Oh. The beam from behind. Oh, he's the... I didn't even realize that he's the number one blue Vegeta right now? That's impressive, Adrian. How about that? Wow. Good job, Trunks. Yeah, Alvin, Hikari's playing well tonight, as usual, to be honest. He's kind of, I won't say he coasted, he had some hard matches, don't get me wrong, but he showed his power tonight so far. He's in winner's finals. Top three, guaranteed. Nice set. He is flowing. I agree with you on that. Flowing like a ribbon. Get off. But the, the Kipu. The Kipu kept the lockdown. He has a smart offense. Really good awareness, huh? Pred has been trying to defend himself with those EX kicks. And all he's doing is wasting bar. It ain't working. Oh, we we have... He has amazing reactions. You guys notice that? I know that's a part of the game. You have to be able to react well to play so strong. But he's even reacting to things like which delay tech they're doing. Oh, they didn't test this way. Cool. That means double jump. Let's beat the mix. Here. He delayed the 5M there to make the combo work. Wow. Okay. Final flash, special mix because he hit from it up top. What do we get? Ooh, that was a that was a scary special mix. Pred just watched it happen. He was like, "Whoa, that's frightening." Pressing a button here was quite dangerous. Vanish time. X strike. I love Chrono Trigger. 
Woo! Wow! Good. He actually didn't have to spawn. He blocked the mix. But still, defending himself with the auto comp. Ooh! Oh, 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 how many layers? How many layers to one jump? Slap. Level three. I can do this with one hand. 97 hits, huh? Oh, he almost confirmed it. Actually, Bardock messed up the combo a little tiny bit. Bardock wanted to get that, that two-piece in. Level three. He doesn't have the EX for the special mix, I don't think, right? So he has to do a different mix-up. Good block. No. No. Bye-bye. Bye, Gohan. He spent only one EX rather than a full super as well. Thank you, Lilo, as well. Thank you, Lilo7. Using your prime and supporting us tonight. Two eons in total. I do appreciate it. Plus. Oh. Oh, he tried. That was a mix-up. He was, he was focused on the mix that he was doing. Confirm? It's just enough. Adrian. Great first game. So guys, just so you know, the lore, according to Lord Nitro, the lore is that Pre did not practice very much Dragon Ball this week, and he mostly was playing a lot of Guilty Gear. So that's the lore, just so you know. I do wonder if Adrian will set something off in Pred. You know how you know how it is sometimes, even if you don't practice for a week or two, somebody sets something off in you and that just wakes you back up. This is the type of match that would do that to Pred. That's not from Pred, by the way, that Lord. That's from Nitro, so I'm just mentioning it. Pred said nothing about any of this. Pred just came to play in a tournament tonight. I'm just throwing it out there for you guys. No Johns. Fair. Fair Fletch. No Johns. Win or lose. You're right. Level 3. You must guess. Ooh, good block. Wow. Adrian is, is again flowing right now. Everything that he's doing is working. This is a good three to another post. This time he can do the real post three mix up also. Special mix time. Get off. Wow. He just navigated around that like it was Street Fighter. How about if I just jump really hard? I can get around your fireball. No problem. Good chase. No, it didn't combo right. Gohan messed it up a little bit, I think. Another try. He's building a lot of meter during this. Can he get a reach up? Reach up? No. There we go. Clutch confirm of legendary Fred. His squad is bleeding a little bit. Uh, 21 has seen better days. Team Gohan, he's probably like one combo from depth right now. Go on, go on. Kid Boo because he has the extra range. On, he has uh, the 3Ms, the 1M, the 2M, and the 3M. He has extra range on the crouching M button. Uh, so he has lots of opportunity available to him like that. Cooked. This is looking like a Pred kind of game. Yeah, but it's not that we didn't have DB. It's not that we didn't have Dragon Ball fighting games around for a long time. This is the first Dragon Ball game of the modern era that I can say was, was designed from the ground up to be a good competitive game. A couple others have come close, but no, this is the, the true one. DBFC. This super is so cool. I love what he's doing at the middle of the screen. Ha -da! It's almost like he's doing the air fireball, but instead he's just punching you to death. Sick. Hard to check that one. You don't really want to press a button there. Next strike. 
Max Strike. 1-1. One, one. That's the score. Woo! Who's gonna make it to the top five, everybody? I don't even know. Ooh, he tried to jump light to beat that, but the hitbox on the super dash was just good enough to snuff it. Yeah, street, street fighters can be a little harder. Uh, and the reasoning for that is a few reasons. Number one is that there's just more to react to because they have assists and you have assists, right? But also, you're not really learning one character. You're learning three characters. And I can't even say that characters in this game are simplified. They, they simplified the inputs. So there's mostly that core circle forward or core circle back. There's not a lot of tricky inputs, right? Uh, but the characters themselves are not simplified. They still are quite varied and complex despite that. So you're learning three complex characters on one squad. You got to make them work together and have a synergy somehow. It takes quite a while, but that's a part of the fun is learning how to make your squad work together. Get off. Wow. He changed the route as well. He went for only two hits of the auto combo, and once he had the height that he wanted, the extension was clean. Slap. Is this a level 3 ender? Yes, it is. Let's see if it's enough. It's close. Woo! Goodbye, planet. I think that Universe 7 is done now, chat. What do you think? Is there any planets left? It's been pretty wild. Time to move on. Yeah, so Pred streams here on Twitch. Legendary Pred. That's the channel. Adrian also streams here on Twitch. One Adrian Aries one. That's his shot. Oh, oh, he almost got punished for the reflect and the Lariat. The second part of the bounce combo. Open him up. Good block. Oh my God! Good everything. He didn't get distracted by the fact that he attacked and assist, and he was ready for a side switch combo as well. Adrian. Super Dash caught the Z change rather than the point character. Ooh, can you block me? I don't even know where I am. I come from another time. That was really godlike what he just did, chat. That was not your everyday mix up from Trunks, to say the least. 21, answering back. This is a scary situation. He's got a level 3, right? This has got to be the 50-50. There's no way he doesn't go for it. Here it is. You must guess. This is a different guess, too, because it's the corner mix. Oh, my goodness. There were so many layers to that. After the air dash, he was going to go ham. There was no way that Adrian was getting out of the corner without work. He does have a spark. This could be it. It could be all over for our hero, Adrian, representing the lead crew. He protected his lanes quite well, and the squad worked together. Impeccably, but legendary Fred. Game number two, he woke up pretty strong. Cooked. Two to one for legendary Fred. Give it up, everybody. He's strong. He's still strong. He could play Guilty Gear all day long and still come back and kick your ass, as you just saw. Everybody, if you enjoyed Adrian's play tonight, I know that he's he's put on some great performances. You can check out his channel as well, Adrian Aries. Hope you spell it correctly on the first try. Let's see. Did I get it? Hey, I got it. Check him out. Support his channel, everybody. Support Lord Pred also, who you're going to see more of soon here in the tournament in the top five. All right. Cool. So the next match in quarterfinals, everybody. Or the next match should be quarterfinals? Is what I mean to say. Let's take a look together. So potential matches. We got uh, Lungster versus Lucar. And we have Indra versus Pret. Those are the ones that we're going to see, I believe. Uh, let me... Can I update the bracket myself from my end for the guys? Let's see if I can do that real fast. Oh, never mind. It's updated. Great. We're in there. Cool. All right. So, Fred took it. 2-1 in that set. Now, we're going to do... I believe the next matchup is... 
Ha, <laughs> Adrian. Oh, Adrian was also playing Strive. <laughs> Adrian was also playing Strive all week long, just so you know, chat. He was like, the game feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> they said they both said they don't know how to play neutral anymore. That's too funny. In the chat, they were like, "We don't know how to play neutral anymore. We play strive now. We're good to your strive players." Oh, the players look like they're already speaking of which for the next match. My bad, guys. Let's jump into it. So coming up, we got uh, underdog monster Longster tonight. He's been really strong, and we have Lucar on the player two. This is another underdog match for Longster. Okay, Lucar is really strong. Y'all know what it is. But you know what? He served y'all well so far tonight. He's gotten you guys some skulls. So don't be afraid to cheer for him even further. Ooh, I'm so hungry. I'm going to eat like crazy after this, guys. This tournament took the energy out of me. Even though it was a smaller tournament. All right. The winner of the last match was Legendary Pred. Adrian was actually the favorite for you guys at home. You guys love Adrian. I see. Now you tell me what's going to happen in this one. Your choices are Lungster, Lungster X, and you also have Lucar. We had some great donations during the past few matches, everybody. So allow me to shout them out while this gets started up. This song is sick. So recent contributors, thank you, Hero McDowell, who gave a big $25. Thank you, Azura Corsair, who gave $50. Wow, thank you, Azura Corsair. Extremely kind of you. And thank you to J800, my feet, my meat, Judge Raiden, VG Hero, powerful Antoine with a big 20. Thanks, Antoine. Hokies, and many more, guys. Thanks for all your donations. We appreciate you. One more time, if you want to help out the crowdfund, you can check out the page here. Yeah, Wes, you got a crazy name. I can't even say the last part of the name. It's a three-part name. <laughs> But the last part is, I, it can't be said on Twitch TV, I don't think. <laughs> Damn, this song is sick. I don't even think I'm playing Dragon Ball anymore. I think I'm playing, like, Tower of Draco. It was not, it was not a guard cancel. It was a regular dash. There's a big difference with those chat. I guess I should explain that for anybody new to Dragon Ball. When you do the regular tag, if they block... It's super dash state, right? So they're semi-safe. You can't really punish very easily. Uh, but when you do the guard cancel, uh, it's, it's free 2M for most characters. You can do a big combo there. Slap. Defense. So they're playing real defensively. Ooh, oh, that's his mix. My mix is uppercut B. That's extra scary. Drop combo. Here I go. Into nowhere. Uppercut again. <laughs> that even looked wonky. Oh, the end of the uppercut into the three. Close range mix up. Oh, oh. Calculated, calculated, calculated. Both players calculate. Oh my god! Calculated offense versus calculated defense. Longster getting the best of it. Tact. Yeah, let's go season one squad of Longster. No, there's two parts to that, my friend. It's not the first rocket punch that kills you. The thing is, you're not going to find a Strive license for under $60 very easily early on. Later on, you'll probably get some cheap licenses once people are, all have a copy and all that. Counter, it's a Vanish. Ooh, he tried to make that to a reach up. That would be cool. Solo reach up? No, a little far for the two. I'm good try. Bro, this is so. Luke. I don't even know what to say. Lungster, you really are Yop. He's a Yop god right now. I think that Lucar maybe is a little... This is a run back, right? Didn't they play before? 
Only the seven star Dragon Ball is missing right now. It is the hardest one to get. Tact, tact, tact. Damn, Tails. When you say it like that, that's pretty sad. But some of the other games have been on big sales, right? Like Street Fighter goes on sale all the time. Tekken has, you can get Tekken for like a dollar. You can get this game for like a dollar sometimes. Ouch. Ooh. Oh, he tried, to, he tried to do big damage with the combo, I see. Now he's struggling a little bit. That's an unfortunate miss on the confirm. Lucar can get his big damage though. I see. I always hit these until I don't hit them. Moon jumps. He mashed. He mashed. And it worked out. Solo guard. Good aim. Wow. He was hoping for the combo. Nice. Minor confirm. Using the EX to extend. Ooh, I think he went in more. That was supposed to be. Ooh, there we go. Overhead into level one. Yes. We'll take those. Those are the traits of an unorganized player. Things just come out. It's okay. Oh, even the mix-up was unorganized. The plan was running and press buttons. <laughs> oh, Lucar with the level three is going to close it out with the relationship goals. That was fun. Fun game one. By taking the first one. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And you can't even say with fighting games, right, as a genre. I mean, there there was a time where we, as the players, treated it kind of as a competition. Haha, -ha, your game sucks versus my game and all that stuff. But nowadays, people don't really do that as much anymore. Even the developers, there was a time where the developers were very aggressive against each other. Who knows what I'm talking about? There was the DOA versus Tekken Wars. Remember that time? There was a lot of 2D versus 3D wars. 2D sucks. No, 3D sucks. Uh, but now, it's, it's more like, you know, everybody just wants to make a good game. And they try hard to make their games different, too. DBFZ versus VF versus, I don't know, Street Fighter versus any of those games, they all have a different style to them. Different characters. Ooh, big miss there. What am I saying? It's Lungster. He's Yop. Nothing's amiss. He's just doing him. Even that mix-up was Mad Yop. I've never seen that before. What was that? <laughs> he did not da -da -da into the rocket kick. <laughs> The, what was messed up about it too, the shiz, is that it was the players and it was the developers. So the players were fighting about DOA versus Tekken and the developers were definitely fighting about DOA versus Tekken. They were saying stuff like each other's game sucks, straight up. I think Tekken sucks. That's what they were saying. <laughs> he tried to extend. That would have been a cool extension, but he would have had to call the assist earlier, right? Potential level three? No, he took he took the wall bounce. Ender. Another mix. Moon jump. Ooh, okay, moon jump into block. That was smart. He was looking for the the, the special wake up of Ultra Instinct. I'm assuming. Tech. We see those. Smart. Really smart. I like how Lucar uses that that move. The the counter. A lot of other players, when they go for the counter, they kind of immediately go for their next mix-up. You can tell that as he does a counter, he's already considering uh, the Oki that he should use post-counter. That's very smart. Whoa, deck, deck, deck again. I see why he has so much success with that now. I understand a little bit more. I think what happens is that the opponent often will preemptively, they're trying to block the cross-up that he can do, right? And because you're preemptively thinking of the other direction, you become vulnerable to the jump to it. 
Seems like he gets that mix to work really well. Cross this. Oh my god. Is that a... Can you block? That might as well be unblockable. Safe zone. Plus, he's patient. He's yop and he's patient. It's a weird combo. <laughs> Nice answer. As soon as he saw a banish start up, he was already pumping it. Smart. Not enough for the kill though. If he runs out of sparking, I'm pretty sure that his tournament's over. He is gonna run out of sparking. Detect that? He awareness. Nope. GG. I'm first because you had to block the special wake up of one train sting. Is he still alive? Is the sparking gonna save him from the super? No, it's over, it's over. Well played, Lungster, tonight, my friend. You got taken out by the power of Lucar with the pink squad. You see he's strong. But everybody, if you enjoyed supporting the homie Lungster tonight with your skull bets and your goodies, you got to give it up to him. He definitely got you guys some great upsets, to say the least. Well done, Lungster. Come back in a couple weeks, my friend, if you want to show us even more of what you can do. A very respectable top five finish for you, Longster. All right, next one is coming, everybody. Oh, I'm Chris, Ultima fan. I'm Chris from King of Fighters. A lot of you guys are just joining the stream, I can tell, because you're surprised about the cosplay. I've been wearing it all day today. Hey, I look pretty. Come on, don't hate. Pick me. I said it every time. Pick me when KOF comes out, by the way. Don't forget, all right? I want to see Mad Chris's top tier. Pred versus Indra coming up, everyone. First, allow me to put in the names, and then we'll talk about everything else. Indra representing the OFA crew. He's the other big underdog tonight in the bracket. He and Lungster, they fought extremely well. The winner of the last match was Lucar over Lungster. 50-50 bet. Now, I want you to tell me who you think will win this match and lose your side. Your choices are Pred on the player one. Indra on player two. Well, you could you could pick my whole team. It's okay. Me, Shermie, and Joshua. Pick us together. Make us work. I know y'all can do it. Sick staircase. Oh my god. Slinkies. Yo, who's seen a Slinky in 2021? Do they even still make those? Level 1. Okay, he went for this so that he has the nice fix after. Wow. <laughs> they still make them? Alright. I figured kids would be bored with that type of toy nowadays. It goes down the stairs. Alright, slap. Bro, amazing defense, by the way. Really long pressure sequence there from Pred. Indra handled it quite well. Good block on the 6 out. Oh, delay. The delay. He might have delayed because he thought it was his turn to block. He wasn't even thinking about a reflect. Thank you, Rift Bift, as well. Thanks for the sub, Rift Biff. There was a lot of subs today. If I missed any of you fellas, forgive me. I'll give you guys a shout out near the end of the tournament. Good. Cross. Oh, up, 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 up. Scrambles. Corners. Lots of moves. Missed on the region. Dragon Rush resets. Scramble City. Fred took advantage. <laughs> J100 to be continued on that combo. <laughs> Woo. There be drama sometimes, what can I say? They keep it in the game for the most part at least. <laughs> Alright, 3 on 1. Go. 
deflect. Mm, almost, almost. That was kind of cool, but it didn't work too well. I think Pro was trying to figure out how to end the combo. <laughs> he was like, how does this end? Never mind. I got this. I'll go with this route. 1-0. Legendary Pro. By the way, thanks to everybody that's been submitting all your clips that you give to us every week. Uh, whenever you see the cool moments in the matches. We appreciate all the clips that you post. You can post them here in the chat if you make a cool clip. You can post them to us on the Discord. Or you can also just, you know, you can just post them up. You can just make clips and we'll see them later. Even if you save them for yourselves. We'll check them all out. You can also win a free sub courtesy of our friends at MetaView. Just by making those clips like we talked about. One for each game. DPMC. Street Fighter. Ground Blue Fantasy Versus. Game 2. Now underway. Oh yeah, Indra, he went to the other squad. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Alright, Indra. Let's see if this works any better for him. He might lose his Fidel really fast, unfortunately. She might not get to play. Close. Can we play? Can we play the game? Oh, That was nuts! I'm so sorry, Indra, that you have to go do that. That was actually crazy. Bro. We lost so much to that. Spark into Spark Chase. Good reflect. He didn't have an assist behind it because Kefla was not available yet. He really needed that. Another try. He can get some okay damage for this, but the Spark is going to expire mid combo. Good escape. That was smart. And the assist took the reality star. So Fred didn't have to deal with it. Lows. That, that corner sequence was pretty brutal for Indra. It's really hard to recover from that type of early momentum. He still has an intact squad, but he's down a spark. And he needs a way to play neutral. There we go. Now we can play some neutral. Come on. He missed the last part of the combo. We'll take those. Sure you. Good block. Oh, empty low. Empty low. It's even trickier because you see the start stand light start up, so you want to stand. Oh, the jumping light. You see an aerial button, so you want to stand up and block. But it's not always the right response. Kill and Khalifa. Make careful. Munch. Mm, it is so late. That actually looked like an empty low. Good hug. Oh, there, there you go. West knows the lore. There's the scientist. 21, right? And then there's the actual disc form, the one that actually fights, right? Something like that. Wes is right. That is how it goes. Neutral game. This is big for Pred. He really wants to win the neutral here while he has a spark. Because if he can do that, oh, this is a big deal. This is humongous. Time for a level three into a you must guess. You must guess for game at this point. This is a guess for game. He will die if he eats this. Oh my god. It's over. No! Oh, Jinx! My Jinx worked! Yes! We can watch more. <laughs> it wasn't enough. I'm sorry. I tried to help you, Indra. I tried to help you, my friend. 2-0, Legendary Pret. He will advance to the top four, guaranteed tonight. Time to get paid, everybody. Who's ready on the skull bets? Ba bam
Let's toss some confetti for that win for Legendary Pred. Give it up, everybody, as well to Indra tonight. Actually, it's kind of appropriate that the two of them got top five today because they, they put in some great performances, everybody. Give it up. Well played, Indra, OFA crew. Guaranteed top five tonight. Now, I will say, fellas, I know this is a very long way from where we are, but we do have a guaranteed goal on the crowd fund tonight, and that's that if we reach $750, it will be a guaranteed top five payout. Now, having said that, everything you do to help out and support the crowd fund still goes to at least the top three tonight, and trust me, they, they love every little piece, every penny that you can support them with. So help them out if you can, everybody. Use that crowd fund. Once again, I'm Chris from King of Fighters. Look out for my friends Yashiro and Shermie because they'll be available for you guys to play soon in King of Fighters. I know the games have been delayed, but that's all right. We'll be back. <laughs> Use that twink on commentary. My name is Chris. Welcome to Team Spooky. Next match, guys, by the way, it's Akari. And Akari is up against... This is winner's finals now, right? Hikari versus... Oh, I can't even find what's going on right now. Let me refresh. There we go. It's Hikari versus Unknown, right? Is that right? Yes, Hikari versus Unknown coming up. Hikari is already here in the lobby. Good job, Hikari. Unknown, come on in. Show us what you got. This one will be three out of five. Just so you know. Yeah, you can. So it's your channel, right, Chromies? I'll just shout you out right now, my friend. That way they have the link. Hold on. Chromies underscore TTV. This one, right? We threw it out there for you on Twitter as well, my friend. So you guys have a good time. You can peep in on that stream too if you want to see what they're up to with Dragon Ball and get excited. And in the meantime, come on in unknown. Let me know. Is the room okay? No problems? I'm watching to see any feedback from unknown. Thank you, Chromies. Thanks for the sub as well. Very kind of you, my friend. Let's add some more money to the prize pool for the players tonight. You guys gave us a good amount of subs today. Let's see the total amount of subscribers right now. I gotta go on stream elements to check. Oops. The players are ready, by the way. So we're gonna see the next match in a moment, too. Good luck, players. It looks like it's unknown player two, and player one should be Hikari. I just wanna try different things. Sep is for fun. DBZ cosplays are cool, but those are also a lot of work. King of Fires is coming soon. I want to, you know, I want to enjoy it. Thank you, Dilawo, as well. Dilawo. I probably butchered your name, my friend, but I do appreciate your great prime support. Thank you. Thanks for helping us out. First time sub for you, even. Thank you. Thanks for using your prime. The current match, you know, sets at 260. I think what I'm going to do is thanks to all of you. I'm going to add like another 40 bucks and help make it a clean 300. Because you guys have subscribed to me so much all week long. The strive streams and everything else. Why not? I just want to support the homies we're playing tonight. And there we go. Done deal. So that gets us a 300. That's a, a, a pretty good prize pool for the top three. You can still use all the goodies too. Where is... What happened to Akari? Did he have to restart? Okay, he said he's coming. No problem. No problem, Akari. There might have been a couple more that I didn't calculate. Today, I've mostly been doing everything solo, and it's even harder with the, uh, the outfit on because I don't have my glasses. Excuse me. I'm Chris. What am I talking about? Chris doesn't wear glasses. You know what I'm trying to say, everybody. Today's just a little bit more difficult, but it's part of the fun. I do really enjoy it. Thank you, Amu, as well. Thanks for your four eons of support, my friend. <laughs> No, I'm a guy, Big Show. I'm Chris from King of Fighters. I know I look pretty, but I'm a guy. <laughs> oh. 
yeah, I do like the outfit a lot. I'll show you guys some more while Hikari arrives in the lobby, everybody. Hikari's coming into play in the room in a second. You got your scope that's active, but here, take a look. I can zoom it out for you later after the matches are over if you want to see a little bit more of a, what it looks like. I put some photos, some small ones on Twitter too, but pretty much I got some, you know, bracelets. I got some, photo. you know, I got my little, my little silver chain and everything. It's not really silver, but it doesn't matter. Who cares? It's a silver chain. If you guys believe it's real, then it's real. That's what matters. Almost dismantled. Right now we're doing, we're about to do winners finals. Dismantled. We're just waiting for Hikari to come back into the lobby. He had to restart or something. It might as well be real. Part of the fun of it is that, you know, it's on a stream, right? So if you analyze the, the, the outfit up close, you're going to see like the little imperfections or whatever, right? But when you see it on the stream, you're not going to notice that it's a fake, you know, metal or whatever. It just looks like a real chain, right? So it looks good. There he is. Hakari has arrived, everyone. Let's get into it. I'm hyped. It's another good match. All the matches have been great tonight. This is three out of five. So we're in for the long haul. Team Good Neutral versus Team Zoning. That's basically the squads right now. Hikari Team Nasty Neutral. Ready? Oh, go, 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 go. We okay? Okay, I guess we're okay. <laughs> Free hits. <laughs> Free hits. Punch buggy. <laughs> Thank you, Beef Bringer. He said, hey. He was getting engrossed in the song. Maybe. Just a little song. Three hits. Not still in my head. Who would get hyped for someone's birthday just to give them birthday punches? You're a terrible human being if you're that person, by the way. Oh, it's your birthday? That means it's time for you to punch violence. Ultra instinct. He freezes so many birthday punches that now he's gone. Evaporated. <laughs> Rolling crush. <laughs> His voice is still the best. <laughs> I wish I could make that voice. Muzana. <laughs> two H, the rawest of two H's. That was a straight bet. There was a prediction, I think, Luminari. Did I mess up? Let's see. I'll make you guys one if you want one. Okay, I see. I do got to make you one. Give me a second. I want y'all to pick, all right? It's three out of five. Don't forget. Hikari versus Unknown. Even this first game only matters so much. Use your extra information well, guys. You got two minutes to bet it right now. Overhead. Oh, overhead into him. Extra tricky. Extra drops. Ooh, I don't know what's going on. He thinks he's playing guilty to strive right now. Oh, small drop. Big capitalization. Even got the 2 H. Mix time. Overhead again. Oh, he did double overhead. That was cool. So if the overhead hits and you go for double overhead, it's still a mix. So you don't mess yourself up, huh? They thought about that. Keeping him in the combo. Yes, smart. Ultra Instinct on point. Basically a full squad versus just self. Come on, Wakamoto. Oh, no way, right? No way, no way. He's he recovered in time, I believe. I need, I need a clip of that. That was kind of dope. He flew through the beam. <laughs> oh, you can see it from space. That's how fast he flew through the beam. Wasn't that how Superman killed Doomsday? Yo! <laughs> I just realized. He did the Superman Doomsday kill. <laughs> Thank you, ZTG. Thank you, ZTG Leo. Are you a DR homie? You got DR I said. I don't know if you're a doctor or you're re representing the DR, but either way, thanks for the support, ZTG. Solid Snake as well. Thank you, Solid Snake. 
me, I'm from Puerto Rico, actually. Punko is God. But I was born in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, born and raised. New York region. DR is always my homie, though. So Y'all already know. Mexico, DR. All the island hoods. I'm all about those. Oh, thank you, Self. But thanks for making the clip. Whoa. Whoa, again. That was cool. He's, <laughs> he's flipping. He's flipping and just letting it land where it lands. He probably kind of puts uh, he, he puts something small together, but still, the spark will expire. Nice! That was a regular button at that. That was not a 2 H. Overhead again. He's getting hit by just the overhead, though. That's kind of breaking up what Hikari wants a little bit. I think that Hikari wants her to fall for the low here. It looks like. Another string. See? Same thing. Is that... Is that... Tech? Oh! Not this time, buddy. Not this time. He dropped the combo. And the mash. Unknown. That makes a lot of sense with just saying clap, but we see that in action. He can't really convert easily from the overhead, as you saw. He can only turn the overhead into another mix after the hit. Without an assist behind it or a super, something like that. To H. Ah, it's the follow-up, and that's a clean game number two for Ikari. Hungry as always. Yeah, what Pred said is also true, right? I guess that's that's what I see the good players do. If they they just try to block it, but I I kind of see something in what Unknown's doing. It's almost like I'm not saying that's a risk that you should go for all the time, but I wouldn't be surprised if taking the hit there at the right time would just mess up what Hikari's trying to do. Reset? Is that what that was? Did you try to reset? Interesting. String resets. You don't see that type of reset too often, but that does work. Let's say they're mashing a button and your combo and you string reset like that, you will counter it. Well, that was wild. I don't even know who was where. All Tristan got the best of it. See, the thing is, if you take that hit, though, you can't mash there. He's taking the hit, and then he's mashing buns out there. You still have to block there. Oh, here you go, the Danish. Like this, my friend. Barrier. 21 actually helped out a little bit there. Oh, really helped out. This is a confirm. Go! Oh, wow! That was wild. Situational confirms off the charts. The stand light into the 2H was just the right thing to extend the combo. Ultra Instinct. Keep them cornered. This song is also hype. He would have had a birthday, but so died. Actually, kind of lucky from that so died because that birthday was really bad. Oh my God! Gut kicks. Top three EX moves. Gut kick. Absolutely. That move wins neutral. Five H. Nice one. All right. All right. So five H was the answer there for unknown. Thank you also, Grim Drake, who was extremely generous just now with the five big gift subs. Thanks, you, Grim. Grim Drake. I'm sorry. I can't even pronounce right now. Y'all are awesome. Thank you for supporting the small sub train as well. Grim Drake. You're the man, host. Pizzas. Combo. Oh, he comboed. He comboed. That was tight. 
Nyx, Spark, Empty Spark. Wow. It is Sparky versus Spark. So, Spark, just go straight for the level 3. This will still do a grip of damage, and the post level 3 mix is good enough. It's up to Unknown to block it out somehow. Can he do it? Oh, mess up. Miss input or something. Gold freeze the time. Oh! Is that PS4? Hey, Ikari, close it out three to zero. What a sweep! Now, now we gotta get some boots for that guy. He got a sweep in the winners' finals. That's monstrous. I'm sorry, unknown. You gotta try your luck on losers now. That was beast. I don't even know what to say. We gotta count that one. That's for sure. Here's your, here's your skulls, fellas. Most of you betted on Hikari, and you were right. It was the right bet for now. But Unknown can stew on that a little bit while he waits for his loser's final matchup. Worry not, Unknown, because if you're suffering a little bit after that loss, guess what? We got for you, my friend. We got Matcharino dollars. Thanks, everybody, for supporting. Thanks to all of you. The prize pool currently sits at over $300 and change. Thanks for all the subs, the gift subs that you gave to us tonight, using the codes, donating straight to the crowdfund, and everything else that you have done. Now let's get into it. Pred versus Lucar. This is for the money, by the way. One person gets in and gets some dollars. One person, they go back to playing Strive probably like as soon as the tournament's over. Are you ready? Pred on the player one, everybody. On the player two is Lucar. The top four is all some of your favorites tonight. Really strong monsters. You know them. You love them. Loser semi-finder. All right, let's go. He's out of there. Whoa, that was wild. <laughs> okay. I always forget that. I, I, I kind of forget at first that Team Gohan, he has the special auto combo. So you can't play neutral against him the same as you would against some other characters because let's say he mashes auto combo and sometimes they mash auto combo there, I'm not gonna lie to you. The second hit of the, the auto combo is pretty good at anti-airing and the third hit is also pretty good at anti-airing. So you have to watch out for all those. I got y'all prediction lovers. One moment, fellas. I actually forgot. I was focused on the match. Your options are Pred and Lucar. It's gonna be a one minute bet, everybody. So jump in there quick, all you skull bet lovers. Here we go. Videl, I don't even know what Videl needs. I can tell that she's only one or two changes away from being a good character. I wonder if just, I wonder if it's as simple as just giving her a regular reflect instead of a dodge. Is that all it would take to make her a real character? Because she already is kind of real. Three on two. Okay, that was a smart spark. He knocked away the Kipu as well. Uppercut. Oh! It actually armored through the projectile. That was dope. You really see that work out like that, but Lucar pulled it off. Damn, this damage is astronomical. Too, too good, too good. Lucar was smart. He was trying to kind of bait what was going on there in the corner. Pred still fought his way out of it. This might be curtains for 16. Level, okay, he's going for one. Into someone a little safer that's protected. Yes. He chose the 21. Thank you, everybody, for the support tonight, by the way. Whew, I've been saying thank you a lot, but that's because I mean it. Seriously, today has been a great day. 
We got to play some Strive. We got to see some dope matches. And it's nowhere near over. Losing semis. Fred and Lucar. Lucar has a lot of meters. Okay, that's, that's his lifeline right now. But it's, it was not enough. 1-0. Alright. 2 H starter. Immediate 2 H starter from Fred. This is only 2 out of 3 as a note, chat. We don't return to a 3 out of 5 format until the loser's final. Good dodge. That's a time where the dodge is actually useful, using it that way. Made the gumball whiff completely. Rejump. Yes. Solid damage and a mix. Oh, that was that was that was a cross. It was indeed a cross. Back to the corner. Guess again. Empty look. Good blocks. He saw it. Command grab. Layers. Thanks, Gohan, for extending the combo, my friend. Rejump again. He's hitting with all the Videl 101. We gotta spend a little bit of meter to finish the job, but we can stay on point. Good super dash. That's a, that's a counter, huh? So if you know the flip is coming, you super dash and you can beat out the startup. Interesting. Good block. Where even was that? Was that in front? 16 assists helping out. And now it's Ultra Instinct time. The match got so hyped, the headset almost fell off my head just now. I had to pick it back up. Extension. Yes. We always hit those. Mix time. Oh, special wake up. He was ready. That was like a mini OS, huh? It was like safe jump status. Even the special Ultra Instinct wake up was not enough. Mix again. Wow, the reflect tag worked. He has to stick to a lot of the basic escape techniques, huh? Because the only crazy escape character he actually has is Ultra Instinct. The other two characters are not are not great at busting out. They're better at playing neutral. Patience, really good patience. He knew a spark was coming. He just had to bait it in the right way. And the 2H is also good. That's high level mind game from Lucar right now, to say the least. Double cross. He's a double crosser. Into woo, how many layers can you defend? Pred. He can get the kill from this. That was impressive defense. He earned the kill with his blocks. It's not something that you say often in this game. Yeah, there's some underrated ones that are still good out there. Zamasu is one that's underrated but, but can be good. Uh, even Goku Black, that character is still a little underrated. I know that he's only his, his main game plan is only footsies, and he doesn't have a lot beyond that. But footsies is still good in this game. He footsies well. Every button is a good button from Goku Black. Good reflect. No plus for you, my friend. You must earn it. Square button to oh, the six up. Tech. Whoa, my God, it's so close. And Pred with the extension. Mix time. Oh, he, he messed up the moon jump. Something about that was off a little bit. It's funny to see people do that perfectly over and over. And then tonight, we actually see good stuff on Luka with the kill. We see people drop that mix up quite a lot tonight, which goes to show you that although that mix up is sick, it's not as easy to do as you would think at first. 
Sometimes you're looking for a particular option to come out, you get the wrong option too. That makes the mix a little tiny bit easier to block. There's subtleties to it. It's so like the Bardock post level 3, the new version of the mix is very similar to that. You must have strong execution to hit those. The level 3 should still be enough despite the scale. Though. Yes, more than enough. Overkill. 7 meter Lucar with the Ultra Instinct. Father versus Son. The Son with the crosses. The father with the 2H. This is an easy kill for the car. Tie it up, boys. Oh, goodbye to this planet. Final game, everybody. No matter what, win or lose. I hope they both learn something by the end of the set. This seems like a, a, a knowledge set. Good mash. Good drag. He snuck it in there. And he had the 21 ready to defend him, just in case. X strike. The post mix after this is scary. Yeah, you still have to be careful, even though it's an airborne mix. They cancel, open them up. Woo, the EX legs are so fast. And new card, he opted for HP back. Woo, oh. Chaos and Havoc. He still lives. Good tag. Very wise. Square buttons. It's a plus. Yes. That's part of what makes the EX leg so good. Not only is it kind of we are forced to deal with it once you block the first part, but he also has enough time to react and call an assist for a mix-up. Another thing that you can win the Lucha with really well, the EX legs. Guess time. He might have changed his wake-up timing there a little bit. Guard cancel. Lucar is actually the one in the most danger right now. Mostly because 16 is only an assist right now. Oh, this is even worse. Ultra Instinct has to do so much work this match. Here he is. Oh my god. No plus frames allowed. You can never have a vanish. He has 16 assists available. Let's see what kind of mix he can do with this. Time to guess. Second part. Yes, the second part. It's not the first rocket punch that kills you. Seems like he enjoys using the EX dash there, just to force a situation post level 3. That does mean you lose another half a bar. So keep that in mind. That means your level 3 is actually 3.5. Munch. Oh, please. The Goku Cupcake looks so delicious. Every time I see this, I really want a cupcake so bad. Good block. Really good tag. Wow, the tag was technically, it might as well have been a super dash. That was a smart way to punish. But answering back with the up back, up back into super dash. Pray. Is this cooked? Is she out? Oh, she's out of there. He has one more meter to make sure. No wind up. Dunked. Desperado. I hide guns in these sleeves. Ooh, I hide mix up in these sleeves. He was waiting for the vanish too. Man, how. Lucar, you're really smart. 
Respect, man. I know he's behind in the set, but you can he's oh. Ah, he's too smart, but Fred. Fred's a monster. No, no. Come on, come on. You gotta survive this quarter, Lucar, or Fred is gonna take you out. Damn, is he gonna three? Yeah, he's gonna three for the better knockdown. No assists available, so he can guess this mix. Special wake up. It worked, it worked, it worked. Woo! This is a long road. My god. Can you do this, Lucar? Dragon Rush. Tech! 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 Wow! I never give up, says Lucar. 84 seconds on the clock. That's plenty of time to. Go. The last five minutes of Dragon Ball Super lasted five episodes. This is plenty of time. No, oh, oh, oh. He's got to guess. That's the problem. Oh, he guessed right. He guessed. Oh, I can't believe it. You guessed right there. And. Whoa. I hear hyenas screaming. Even though they're not really here. I definitely hear hyenas. They're yelling. I hear the whoo! The crowd going crazy. One on one. Plus. Oh, the six M um, after the plus on the bandage. Good choice. Good choice. Woo! That was a great set, man. I kind of wished I was a three out of five because they, they were taking it to each other. Dang. All right, everybody. So, Lucar, one of your favorites, one of my favorites, too. He's eliminated tonight at fourth place, everybody. But please, give it up if you enjoyed their amazing gameplay tonight with the old pink squad, as they like to do. Thank you, Lucar. Seriously. Come back for even more, Lucar, because trust, I love seeing you play every time. That was really hype. Great set. Good job to Pred also. That shows you how strong Pred is. So, you know, I, I feel like I give him credit, but not enough credit sometimes. Pred is really good, as you can see. We're going straight to the next one, everybody. Let's take care of your bets. Losers Finals is up next now. The winner of the last match was Legendary Pred over Lucar. You gave it to him as the favorite, but actually that was closer than the, the bets said. Now we have Pred in the Losers Final up against Unknown. We'll see who's going to make it to the Grands. Unknown is looking for his rematch, of course, on the Grand Finals. Loser side. My name is Chris, everybody, and thank you for enjoying tonight. I hope that you've enjoyed a great evening of some Guilty Gear Strive and Dragon Ball Fighters. I've heard some Wes was saying in the chat earlier that the PS4 uh, Strive is now available for you guys to play. Is that right? Why is it always someone that's not a sub that asks for predictions? Sean Sal sub. <laughs> predictions cost me work. <laughs> it's always somebody not a sub begging for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be back for more Guilty Gear tomorrow, Lulu. We'll make a lobby so that you guys can play with us. Here's the choices, guys. It's a 3 out of 5 match. You can pick Unknown or you can pick Pred, alright? You got 2 minutes because it's 3 out of 5, so you get a little extra time. Uh, so this unknown is is from ATO. It's not the unknown that you're thinking of from our man. We have to answer that like every time. Even though he has ETO in his name, people still ask that. Whew. All right. Punish. That is a punish. Ooh. I don't even know what that combo was that he tried to do. I kind of want to see that. What was that? Uh, not yet, Ayakashi. We'll have announcements soon. So far, this is a pre straight up pred pressure. That's not even a lot for me to say. His corner lockdown is looking good, and I know finally fought out of it. No, still in the corner. Wow. There we go. Ooh. 
sick move. Still has more to the combo. A level three? No, he's he's going for all the way through, right? He wants to make sure this is tough. Three on one. Good chase. Unknown. That was smart. He knew he was pretty far behind. There's no choice but to attack. Zoning is not going to work here. Sick mix. Sick block. He must have seen that trick before, huh? Level three. It's going to be very hard to escape this corner. Yeah, it's not happening. Sorry, unknown. Try again in game number two. I think that they were good teammates. Am I wrong about that? I always thought that Unknown and Fox were good teammates. They were underdogs who played really well, and they both had a unique style, right? Like, Fox Zero May Cry was pretty unique, even for a Zero May Cry player. And Unknown used to play squads that were not popular. It was kind of hard to get matchup experience against his character sometimes. Don't touch. Got him. Got ooh, he, he actually dashed too far. Yeah, he also tried a lot of uh, Grambu when Grambu first came out. But Grambu release was just weird for all the, the, the guys that are used to being competitive. So we got some homies that like to support big and we got some homies that, you know, for, for first drive or whatever of the game, which makes sense. Play what you like the most. That's the whole point. He's really good at with the auto combo. You can do the two hits or you can do the three hits, right? If you do the third hit of the auto combo, the scaling is a lot worse. Uh, so he tries to confirm from just hit number two where possible. Little analytical things I noticed about how they play. Empty low. Open them up. He has two teleports and two of the reality stones as well. Damn. All right. He used the aerial auto combo to get the right height for the combo. Yes. I know that sounds weird, but there is a difference. If you do uh, light, medium, heavy in the air, uh, it's different from pressing jump, light, light uh, when you hit the opponent. You'll have a different different hitbox. It's hard to explain it for That's a DBFZ thing. It's very specific to this game. But it's very important at the high level. You have to understand how that works to get the right height on your combos and the right confirms to Yeah, what kind of, there you go. That's the best way to explain it. So when you do the aerial auto combo, the light light, it has a tracking to it. It kind of has an automatic, like a built-in double jump, if that makes sense. Versus the regular combo, if you do it manually, that will not happen. Amazing pressure again. One homie in the chat was calling him the sword versus the shield. That's definitely Fred's style. He likes to attack. His defense is good too. He chooses good spots for his defense. Reflect tag. He was a big, a big reflect tag monster, especially when reflect tag was at his best. He has a lot of other good defensive tricks too. Now it's two on one for him against Sunro. Dragon balls are still not a factor. This is a death combo. Damn, Fred. I thought you were playing guilty against try. Why'd you lie to us? <laughs> All right. So 2-0 right now for Pret. He's he's in a really good position to make it into the grants. Unknown, he must win three straight to take the set. Disco dancing mix. 
That attack even looks cool. He sweeps you with his foot first, and then he sweeps you with his tail. He put a lot of thought into that. Big victory here for Unknown if he takes out this kid. Yes, break the synergy. That's one way to break the sword. Break the synergy. Quick, fast. Of the neutral situation with Fred. Golden Freezer. Oh, he's calling it quick fast. I need this. Woo! Yo! What was that movement? That's what his jump is like when he's Golden Freezer? That was crazy. <laughs> All right. This is looking more like unknown style. He broke apart the synergy of the squad, which already helped a lot. And now Go Gohan has like nothing to work with. He's cooked. This would be a hell of a comeback for Pret. No way. Seal the deal unknown. That's what I like to see. Sink in those fangs. He's feeling himself. Spark time. Oh, caught the back dash. Almost, almost. Another try. This time he will get it. No. Is it because he's backdashing? It's messing the combo? I don't even know. There's something subtle about why that combo is not working. That should be a combo. Just so you know. Extension. He has spark damage too. So he can make this hurt quite a lot. Level 3. Woo. Goodbye HP. Oh. He was still Golden Freezer. So he has different jump arcs. <laughs> <laughs> Props unknown. Good usage, man. Really great golden freezer there. <laughs> oh, he built that bar. Are you serious? Ah, he's powering up mid match. Freezer. <laughs> this is hype. Good Jay spread. No big combo there. He didn't have a lot of meters to work with, so I can understand. Pizzas denied. Who denies pizza? Who says no to pizza? Mix. Oh, he blocked that? You think you slick, little Gohan? You think you're slick. Sick chase. Wow! Extra sick chase. Ready with the proper combo. Vanish for the good knockdown. Yes. Ooh, we want to snap. We need to we need to break the synergy. That's right, that's the strat. Oh, good auto combo. Auto combo answering everything. Just press square when you don't know what's happening. Especially if you're Team Gohan. Dragon Rush. Scared. Uppercut will be extremely risky. No, he didn't do it. No escape. Sorry, cooler. No escape. Go reflect. He finally broke up a mix there. Can we play? Spark. Ooh, he he does not want to let him play. That's smart. Don't let him pray. Don't let him pray, don't let him play, don't let him do anything. Level 3, can he block in time? He cannot. He cannot block in time. Mix. Rolling crush in front. Woo! That corner looks quite nice. Do you mind if I step in there real fast? Vanish. How do we end the combo? Oh, gumpo, gumpo. It's quick. We jump. It's a 3. One to one, excuse me. It's 11 time. Don't pick up the Street Fighter though. Plus, on the 2S. Jumped out of the command grab. Oop! That was a startup or something. Did he try the Dragon Rush or something like that? 
The startup was definitely tagged by the 6 summer threat. Down. The brackets are available for you guys, fellas. By the way, in the chat, I see some questions about who sent Fred to losers. Let's take a look together. That is a good question. Fred tonight was defeated. This was one of the two upsets, and that is it for Brett, by the way. He's going to take it 3-1. to one. Lungster. Lungster got the upset on him. Props, Lungster. So that Lungster was the one to send Brett to losers. Lungster ended up getting fifth place tonight, as well as Indra. A nice tie for the two underdogs that fought extremely strong tonight. Now, fourth place. Excuse me, third place. I'm getting all the places wrong. Third place was the homie unknown. Good job, unknown. You fought well tonight, my friend. I know it was a smaller tournament, but the competition was very fierce. So I understand that there were some close matches for you, my friend. We're going to make sure you get hooked up with a few dollars in your pocket with that third place finish. Thank you very much, Unknown. Guys, before we start the grand finals, there's just one thing I want to say, and only one thing, which is support the crowdfund. It's in the chat. Use the link. Give us some subs and gift subs, and we'll help out the crowdfund too, courtesy of you. Uh, everything that you do helps out everybody use the codes use the stuff in the sidebar donate directly if you like buy a shirt help out the homies let's get into it grand finals everybody this one on the player one side is legendary fred he's coming from the loser side of the bracket so we got to give him a nice little l mark next to himself on the winner side is hikari who's fought extremely strong all night tonight i guess he's not distracted by the shiny guilty gear like everybody else was all right, here we go. Let's get into it. Your first bet is going to be on the reset. So I want you to tell me if you think Fred can reset the bracket. Otherwise, it's going to be a set one win for Hikari. Those are your choices. Here you go, fellas. Here's that bet. Use it well. Tell us if you think Pred is going to take the first set of Grand Finals. Or Hikari is going to win set number one and take the whole shebang. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm Chris from King of Fighters. For anybody wondering about the cosplay, I'll be glad to show it off more to you after the Grands if anybody has not seen it yet. So stick around immediately after the Finals is over. I'll show it all to you. I'll show you everything. Don't ban me, Twitch. Time to guess, genius. Woo, it was in front. That one was not as ambiguous as some of the ones he was doing earlier. Ultra Instinct with the Goku Corridor. You can, honestly, going for odds bets is not the worst, especially if you know the players. Let's say you see a bet that's heavily in favor of someone, but you know the match is actually even, that's when you go for the odds bet. For sure. This type of match, if I saw it too swingy, I would definitely go for odds bet because they're evenly matched, in my opinion, even if Hikari is playing stronger tonight so far. Defense. Clash. Clash reflect. Wow. Clash reflect. Really? Beams. Into the hit level one. Into another. Oh, he spent all the cash. Five meters gone. But the synergy of the, the Pred team is gone. It's all up to 21. Tonight is the PC version. Contour. Whoa. Uh, yes, Clamper explained it well. It's based on uh, which move she absorbed. That's what the icons show. So right now she has two of the teleport. 
They don't use that a lot. I'm surprised. I guess that move is not as good as the other ones. The beam is really good. The reality stone is really good. Uh, the one I don't see them use much is that one. Mix. Ooh. That was that was good. Oh, he has two, he has two. Oh my god, he can kill. Oh, it's over. It's over, right? No, he did the wrong ender. He didn't have three meters. He was so close to the third bar. Oh, wait. Stolen. Stolen. We steal games in these streets. <laughs> <laughs> Cupcake time. <laughs> Itadakimasu. I'll definitely eat two, two for one. Two for one special on Eats right now. Pick your favorite. <laughs> a robbery. I see all. This is a robbery. That's all I see in the chat right now. I'd like to report a robbery. Staircase. <laughs> oh, the reflex don't work. <laughs> that was sick. I think Hikari expected to get some space from the reflect, but no, Kipu was just there as if nothing had happened. Jump up his ass. <laughs> Tenchi G, thank you for the song. <laughs> Damn, Fred really wants this. He has something to prove right now. What is Guilty Gear? I don't know that game. When's DPFC 2? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hikari with the corner. Took out the assist as well. That's a good look. But no ice. No ice. I don't even know the name of that move. What is the name of the move where he does the ice? I know it's an unblockable. Who's a big hit fan that knows all the moves? Icy Glare. That's the name of it. Thank you. You know, Fall Cake is definitely a hit fan. In front. This is another good post level 3 mix as well. He has Reality Stones too to help out. He has everything. Ooh, he tried to OS reflect out. Okay, so who, who who plays 21? I actually have a big question about this. So the post-level 3 mix-up, right? The OS, I say OS in quotes because I notice it doesn't always work. The OS is that you hold the direction that you want to block, right? But then you also input reflect so she goes the other way. Am I understanding that's the trick that's supposed to work? I noticed that, is it a timing thing? Is it how they time it? Sometimes even if you try to OS, it doesn't really do anything. The reflect is only one frame, right? So that should, in theory, it should work. In practice, I know people get hit a lot trying for that. Defense. Defense. Ooh, there were so many layers, though. There were so many layers. It's funny you say that. that. That's actually been a point we talked about a lot today. So, 4Kick points out that the Reflect Tech only works if they actually do the mix-up like a perfect mix-up, right? Like they do it just right. 
but then let's say uh, there was a delay or they did it as a moon jump fix up because they wanted to fake an empty low or a late hit or something like that, then I imagine that the reflect trick will get you in a little more trouble just because they slightly mistimed it. So far, this set is all praise. The comeback was critical for him too because Hikari won, won it that first game, I would imagine. He was pretty advantageous in that one. That was definitely a robbery. Sick delay strings. They have so much Yomi even in their block string. Even the basic way that they do like a light, light, medium, heavy. Even that basic sequence, there's mix up in that. They change their timing. Sometimes they don't cancel. They call it the assist instead or they go for a super dodge. So unpredictable. Square button society. Sick. Oh, he, wa he wanted regular M. He got forward M, I believe. Damn, too bad after that clutch escape. No free combo for you. Save the bar. Oh, you can you can use the icy glare like that to make it an extra trick. I see. Ah. Layer K. Three on two for her card. Preg's team, I, I've said this before, but Preg's team is really sensitive to uh, synergy. Uh, this team works best when the squad is a full intact squad, and it, it weakens significantly, even compared to other teams, uh, once one character has been taken out. Uh, they are a triple threat team, though, so any character is good as the limit break character. So that is a, a, something that he still has in his corner. Mixed time. I don't even know what that was. They have so many layers to the to 21 mix up that when they miss input, I don't even know what they tried to do during the miss input yet. Clearly, that was some type of post level team mix. Not a bad tag. Ooh, wow, oh my god, he tried to box jump mix, didn't like what he saw, but it was too late, he was already cornered. Ultra Instinct. Lumen oh, it's getting scrambly, it's getting scrambly. Even these guys see situations that they're not used to seeing sometimes, so even they scramble. Empty low, good one. Missed on the end. Woo! Oh my god! These scrambles are insane. People should be dying during these. It's so wild that they managed to defend. 2H from Hikari was X. Oh, that was two characters. They're both dead. Cooked! Guess what? It's also Hikari's birthday. <laughs> Alright. 2 to 1. Green Doritos. Thank you, Green Doritos, for the subscription. Yeah, it's everybody's birthday. Why not? Gohan assist. Help the, oh, Gohan is just, Wow! You got a combo for that? He did a fadeaway jump heavy combo. <laughs> These guys are, are too on point for me. I can't take this. <laughs> the fadeaway! Like he was on the court. <laughs> He didn't vanish the beam. 
That was hard to see if it was even hitting. Good block. Rush down. Rush down from Fred. Ooh, the reset is near. The blue combos are working out. It's okay. We take those. Ooh, the reset definitely smells near. One character down for Legendary Fred. Whoa! <laughs> did he know? Or did he just do a, a, a... Whatever. I'm not gonna think about it. It's Gohan. He's fast. He has good buttons. Everything works. The most beloved of the entire Dragon Ball Z saga. It's Gohan. Slap. This is a kill, I think. He's gonna try. Wow. That ender was interesting. Can you still combo? We'll never know because it turned out that it killed. I feel like that potentially he had a follow up there if he needed it. Level 3 again. This time it's Hakari's end. Mixed time. Good low. Hikari definitely can come back. This looks like a humongous life deficit, but it's basically one healthy character and two characters that are about to die. One. Just as I said, he brought in the healthy Team Gohan once again. He's got to respect, yes. That's exactly what he had to use. He got out of it. Oh, or not. Or not. Will I spark? Reflect. Worked out well. Another good reflect. We see those. Ooh, there we go. There we go. A good answer to the EX legs. The tiniest of damage. Just barely hurts. He needs his post level 3 to be great. Great. Let's see. Can we do it? Ooh. I don't even know what that was. They're, doing, they're trying to do advanced mix-ups after level 3 chat. So if you ever see them do an accidental miss input or something weird after that, just know. That's why. They're trying to do mix-ups that we haven't even really seen yet at home. It's not enough. He still can fight. No. He gave up already. He gave up. <laughs> he, he put the stick down and was like, I'm ready for set 2. Alright, everybody. It is a reset for Legendary Pred. Who got paid, everybody? Now we're going to start set number 2. I want you to tell me the same deal. Who's going to take it? Both players are coming from the loser's side of the bracket. Now it's the, the Shin Grand Finals. They're going to show you their true power. Hikari and Fred both coming from Lucha's side now. Who will win, chat? Let us know what you think. Your choices are Fred, of course, or Hikari here in the Shin Grand Final. You got one minute to bet it as of right now. Use your skulls well. This is the time. That's a lot of blue life on the Fred end. Z changed to one. He backed out. Seemed like the approach he there might have been dangerous. Legendary Fred. Small mess up, mess up there. This game has, how can I explain it? You can do like 9-6 to get the air dash input and you can kind of have it flow. Uh, but you have to really flow it right. If you don't flow it right, you either get regular jump or you get uh, you can get a, a miss input there basically. These guys are thinking three steps ahead. That makes it a little, just a tiny bit easier to hit the miss input sometimes. Guess time. He got significant HP back for that. Special wake up. He can reflect, right? It's safe. Yep. Oh, but the tag worked. The tag worked. 
So that sequence there, you do the Ultra Instinct level 1 into the Hit level 1. Uh, there's no opportunity to interrupt even if you reflect the first part because the level 1 of Hit will be invincible during the Z-Chain. And it will push you out even on block. Oh, oh, that was a bad start. Escape attempt with the gut kick. No, no, gets out of there. He was going for a full loop just to get as much meat as he could from the combo as well. Three on two. There's another game that's favoring Brett. Vanish, yes. Soft knockdown after this. He didn't even spend the EX, he's saving the bar. Boo, com boo, boo combo. Hard to confirm there, that range was crazy. There we go, that's a confirm. No spend here, the damage is trash. He didn't even finish the combo. He's being forced to spend a lot of meter on Vanish, and by the time that he's landed something solid, Hikari, the scaling is just not favoring him well. Predator with the rush down. Change three. Boo on boo violence. Oh, we're vanishing all over the place. And we're crossing. Cross is gone all over the place. Tobe. Whoa. This is getting too intense, chat. If I'm quiet, it's mostly because I've I've been invested in this set so long that even I'm I'm just mentally in the game right now with them. Three on one for Pred. Tough comeback now. Oh. Sandwich. Oh, he almost got a combo for that. Jeez. <laughs> you see the jumping 2 H to keep the combo going. That was pretty clutch when he hit there. This is a dead kid move. Also a dead planet. But that's okay. Whatever. This dimension was cooked since like round two of the tournament. Nobody's ever coming back here. He had a jump follow-up opportunity there. He missed it. Aerial two piece. Aerial reverse beats. And the level three is gonna close it out for Pred. Game number one of set two in his favor. I have that feeling that this is going to be a 3-2 set. I'm not going to lie to you. I hope I didn't jinx it by saying it just now, but... This feels like... Hikari's going to see enough soon. We shall see. Imagine if Pred had made it in the winner's side, it would be over already. He would have won the whole tournament. Woo! Oh, he... he that was too godlike. It was so godlike that even he messed it up. That was actually ridiculous. <laughs> when, when your power goes wrong, right? You don't know how to control your own power. Unlimited power! That's what that mix was. <laughs> Oh, man. Unlimited power! My mix is crazy. <laughs> nice, he used the axe to extend. Scaled the combo pretty hard, but he also got the position. Ooh, gut kicks into two characters! 
he didn't get the chase, but he's, st he's still staying on him. Answer back, Fred. Use the spark for this answer back, though. So if Kari can stay strong on defense, he sparks. Woo, it's spark versus spark time. Party time. Fred spark expires, but he's still rushing down. Buttons. The regen is, is not going to save him, I don't think. I think this is a cook. Dinner time. Next strike. All right. Ooh, legs, legs, legs. Don't get too aggressive on the EX legs. He's meter starved. He doesn't care that he's meter starved. He's EX. I don't need bars. I just need kills. And Ikari has all the meters. Max. Unlimited power. Can he get to use it? Defense. Another layer. The assist is back. He, need, he needs to attack before he can use that. 21. Okay. That kind of worked. Here we go. Oh my god. He was going to have to block a whole sequence again. Too tough. And Fred Monstrous. Z change 3. Give me a good knockdown. Is he really going to make the, end, the match end with 7? Is he not going to at least try to vanish? I guess he respects that Prey will punish him. So, Dragon Rush. There it is. This is a level 3. Woo! I don't even know. What kind of mix could he even have here that would be good enough? It was not enough. He blocked it out. Command grab. That was enough. Okay. We spent some cash. But we broke up a little bit of the synergy. Just a little. Oh, no. Tex. Legs again. Post tech, that's so nasty. It just doesn't matter what you press. The EX legs is better. Part of what makes Team Gohan so strong is EX moves, as you can see. The EX legs is like a whole, it's like a Swiss Army knife. It does everything. It's a defensive tool. It's an offensive tool to get you plus for your assist. It just works well in all situations. Excellent move. EX legs. I hope so, Alpha Zero. Honestly, I want to see more from Hikari also, though. I enjoy when these two have close sets, and Hikari has some great wins here so far at the tournament. Right now, Legendary Pred, though, he's playing... He's playing clean. His mix is all hitting well, and even when even when he loses the character, he's recovered well from those situations, too. Reflect the knife. He's running out of options. His defense is getting more and more cracked open. He could go for a 5-meter combo. No. We jump was rough a little bit. I have like a lump in my throat watching this match. Wow. Fred played so godlike I'm choking up. Tag. Gut kick. Gut kick of hit. That move is just sick. It's a good assist and it's also a good... Just a good random EX to toss out. The priority is off the chains. Way too much priority on the gut kick. It goes through everything. So yes, they do indeed stream Fire Puma, uh, Legendary Pred stream here on Twitch. I think it's just Legendary Pred. Uh, Hikari's channel, I actually don't know. We can ask him afterwards. I believe that he also has a Twitch channel. Yes, Pred did indeed reset. So now we're at set two. Hits in a lot of trouble. Maybe he dies? I don't even know. Close. 
sitting out pixels. Unbelievable in the combo. And Hikari on his last legs. It's all up to 21. She has struggled to come back on a full squad. Oh my goodness. Hikari, your dome piece was cracked by the Kid Buu. And Legendary Pred, everybody at home, is going to be the one to win NOBC Week 65 of the series on PC. Ah, yeah, yeah. He's going crazy. Thank you, everybody, for answering tonight. I hope that you had a good time. I know that many of you players at home were also focused on Guilty Gear Strive a lot. So I do appreciate that you guys came to play with us despite that. In fact, Legendary Pred is probably going right back to Strive as soon as we speak. So props, everybody. Props also to Hikari on the se second place. Yep, he said it right, right as I said it. He's going right back to Strive. Guys, let's take a look at the bracket together and talk about a few things before we go. Uh, Pred, I was thinking that I might I might actually send the Dragon Ball guys off to somewhere else. If you're going to play Strive on your stream, then I wouldn't mind sending the homies over there for a little bit to see what's up. First, allow me to say what's up to the homies. West says Strive is actually out and you can play, which is awesome. So we have a little combo to talk about with Strive for tomorrow and everything else. Everybody, $305 was the final count in the match, you know, prize pool. Thanks for supporting it and helping out. Uh, actually, uh, I think a very generous prize pool that you guys gave for the homies, despite the fact that we had only, I'd say only 25 entries. But you know, it was all killers today. Who cares that it was only 25 entries? They were all monsters. Thank you, everybody, for answering. I appreciate y'all. The winner tonight is Legendary Pred, as I said. Come on, I want to find my, my thing. Hey, I want to see the people cheering. There you go. <sighs> I'm Chris from King of Fighters. Spooky's not here today. All right, I'm going to pay out the bets, everybody. So the winner was Pred. Here's your skulls. Top eight results. Have a look together with me before we go, guys. Y'all played Beast today. Again, I don't even know what to say. You get better and better every week somehow, even though that seems impossible to me. So here we go, everybody. This was the final result. Uh, first place was Legendary Pred. Second place, Hikari. Third place was Unknown. Good job to the top three. They all get paid from the match. You know, crowdfund, 25% of the crowdfund also goes to support next level, as you guys always do every week. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Fourth place was Lucar. Good job, Lucar. The top four was all monsters, as you saw. All beasts that could get a top four pretty much any tournament, or even win a tournament at any time. Fifth place tied with the two big underdogs, Lungster and Indra. Give it up to them. Good job, guys. And finally, seventh place tie. It was Test Your Luck and Adrian Riven, two monsters of this. A lot of the players, I appreciate you guys. That's what, that's what I got to say. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for supporting us even during the Strive release and doing what you do. Uh, so what else? Let me thank you, homies, that support the match. You know, crowdfund too, guys.